Greetings, Grandfather. Now, some of you have been noticing that you're getting a bit more forgetful these days. I know I've mentioned this before, but I need to bring it up again because I feel it would be useful for you to know why. Granted, there are so many things to remember these days in your busy lives, and yet there is an actual reason why you're getting forgetful. Yes, a spiritual reason. Now this is, granted, perhaps affecting elders a bit more, but it affects almost everyone across the board, young and old alike. There's a reason. And this is what the reason is. Many times you are raised in cultures, not just families, neighborhoods, when you go to school, when you hang around with your friends, when you go to work, in short, your society. You are raised with morals, values, principles, yes, but you are often also raised with biases and prejudices. You understand prejudgments before encountering anyone or anything. Sometimes these have a historical frame of reference, but most of the time it is based in fear or nervousness. There is a tremendous amount of nervousness about anything that's new, unless you happen to be quite a bit younger or quite a bit older. And then sometimes it's different. And that's good. So, why forgetful? When you are forgetful, there's a tendency to be forgetful across the board, isn't it? You don't just forget one thing. You don't just forget one type of thing, unless you have a real issue about that. But generally speaking, those of you who are noticing how forgetful you are these days, it's because some things need to be forgotten. Now you know, when you move on, pass over, die, all right, you drop your whole personality that has been affected in discomforting, painful, or extreme ways. But the essence of your personality remains. So you are who you are through lives. Now, there's that. You're not all going to die, so let go of that thought right now. Of course, someday, but not any time immediately soon for everyone. So, some things that are based on prejudice and fear and even historical references need to be forgotten because it tends to perpetuate the pain from the past in the present. All right. There's been progress with this. I'm not saying that you're backsliding all the time. There has been progress. The races, the different cultures are getting along better, regardless of what any one group or even government promotes. So, there's a tendency for your spirit selves and soul selves, and yes, personalities, and yes, with the influence, the good influence, of younger people, that a lot of that old stuff is just falling away. So there's that. But the reason that the forgetfulness has to happen across the board, including forgetting things that you'd like to remember or need to remember, and perhaps write down notes to remember, is because in order to get along well together in your now personalities, in your now bodies, in your now world, which is full of all kinds of different cultures and races and nationalities. You need to be of one mind and one heart of many things. 
and therefore you need to let go of prejudice, prejudgments, you understand, and uh, fear, and many of these things. Granted, sometimes you'll wish you had remembered, but other times you'll discover new friends in cultures you never thought you could be a friend of because of the way you were raised. But all of a sudden it'll just seem all kind of silly in some ways. And things will just fall away. So for you folks that are a little older, don't be too upset when you get forgetful. It might mean that you've got lots of new friends that you're going to meet or who are going to meet, meet you and find you right around the corner. Good life.